You might not expect it, but what you're seeing here is the DNA of one of the world's most famous texts. And not just any text, but fragments of the ancient Dead Sea Scrolls, a collection of thousands of fragments of old Jewish scriptures and writings dating back to millennia. So what's so important about the scrolls' DNA? After the beginning of this research, uh, we all thought that the majority or the, the, the scrolls were written on goat skin. But two results tell us that it's a cow hide. Okay, so we have two fragments that turned out to be cow hide, which means that at least these two were not from the area. Okay, they came from elsewhere. Where they came from, we still don't know, but we do know that we can differentiate between them and they are from outside. Essentially, researchers believe that the ancient collection first discovered in 1947, just east of Jerusalem, was scrawled by a fringe Jewish sect, the Essenes. By sequencing the DNA of the fragments, scholars can better investigate this claim, as well as uncover details of ancient life long thought lost. This project made me reappreciate the materiality of the Dead Sea Scrolls, namely that the very material, the biological material of which the scrolls are made is as telling and as informative as the content of the text. And this is, I think, a very important lesson for all of us, that Second Temple Judaism, Second Temple Jewish society, has been much more plural and multifaceted than many of us tend to think. Finally, as a side bonus, this new sequencing might also prevent future fakes from popping up. The scrolls that we tested were authentic. We know that they are real, they are not forged. But uh, since we can distinguish scrolls that originated from Qumran, uh, from other scrolls, we think that maybe in the future it could help identify real versus false uh, scroll pieces.